Hey, it's Avant here. Welcome to this System IO tech tutorial where I'm going to share with you exactly how to do mobile editing of your System IO sales page, landing page, thank you page, or any other page you're creating. This is going to be an over the shoulder tutorial. This tech tutorial for System IO was actually recorded to my virtual assistant when I wanted to correct her and train her on how to produce these landing pages better and optimize them for mobile. So I figured it's a good video to actually share in general, not just my VA, and therefore I'm gonna be sharing it with you right now. So stay tuned, we'll share my screen and you'll see how it's done. Hey, it's around here. This is a tutorial on improving the mobile editing once you create this funnel. So this looks okay, but then look on the mobile and it doesn't look good. And I'll show you exactly what you need to improve. So first of all, um, this text way too wide. So notice this, it is crazy wide. So have a look. It needs to be a lot thinner and let's just go. So this section needs to be medium like that or even small, okay? Then that way it will fit. You see the orange? That's number one. I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna show you, okay? That's number one. Then on the mobile, you can make this smaller basically. So it's not so huge. And then the line height needs to be a little bit smaller as well. Okay, congratulations, way to be choosing you. What does that mean? Okay, yeah, leave it as way to be choosing you. That's what they actually did. So anyway, I don't understand what that means. Next, let's go back to desktop. So again, this is medium, that's fine. This row is unnecessary. So delete it and delete this row as well. It's not necessary, this section. I don't know what that is, why it's here. Now to space this out is you want to look at this section and you can increase the size. Um, so you can't do it this way, that's fine, but you can do it through the text. So have a look here, bottom, like that. Okay, then it, it's totally fine. The spacing here is still way too big. So make it the top like that and then that should be fine. Now on this, that part's okay. This is way too big. So again, uh, you want to do, there's a, there's a couple of things. Number one, when you look on mobile, when you do it this way, you're basically separating. Like these two things are not, should not be two different sections. So here is how you wanna do it. Notice that these things need to be connected. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna upload a section and then you're going to put two columns, okay? Now inside these two columns, you're going to do what's called a content box. Inside the content box, you're gonna put this, you're gonna put this, and you're gonna put this, okay? Now, we're gonna now make this the purple, this purple, so let's find this purple color, background color, grab this link, go back up, change this section, background color, like that, okay? And on the section, let's go to settings. I, I just, it needs to be white background, not gray. I don't know why it's gray. So now let's have a look at this section. So the text, okay, the text and the button, let's have a look, background color, okay, like that, and then the text, it's to also be, click on this and make it the orange as well, okay? 
So that's that. Now let's have a look again. Okay. So now on the content box, you're going to change the fact that there is a, a box there. We're going to have header visibility, i.e. none. Okay. And also we will make it so there's no border at all. Okay. So let's just delete that border completely. Now we're going to put another content box right here. And actually to make your life easier, we're just going to duplicate this content box and grab this content box and move it up here. Okay. Now we'll delete this image. Okay. This one, we're going to delete it. So it's not there. We're going to grab this text and put it here instead. We're going to delete this text. This text, we're going to change to the color that it's supposed to be. Click here, click on the color, highlight again, click on the color. Okay. And then the download, it's already there. So now we're just going to grab Oh, there's no download button, so that's fine. Um, that's the same one, so that, that's okay. Now, I want to show you the difference now. I'm going to click on Save, and I want you to see the difference. Click here, and now notice that under this is the download button as opposed to this. Now, there is still this part, right? So we just have to have a look to see if there's something extra here. Okay, so this content box we can delete. Okay. And there you go. Okay. Click on save and notice that they're under each other. Okay. Now on the mobile, this image can, can and should probably be also smaller. Okay. It doesn't need to be this big. So let's make it a uh, hundred like that. And this one can be a hundred as well. Okay. This one, this text, the line doesn't need to be so big. Like that. Okay, this one doesn't need to be so big either. It actually doesn't need to be bold, I don't think. Okay, now we'll make it smaller. Okay, now let's go back here. We're going to delete this section. We're going to delete this section. I'm going to delete this section. Now we're into the next part. This part is probably okay. Let's click on save. Yeah, that part's fine. Now here's the problem. You did this. This was created with three rows and that's an issue. The button needs to be right under this. Otherwise, what happens is it's just not going to be right under the correct thing. Now, this might not work still, but let's just save and let's see. Okay, so now the buttons are under each one of these. Okay, so now let's go back. See the, the row? The button needs to be inside the row for this to work. So under the row, under the row, under the row. Okay. Now we're going to delete this row because it's an unnecessary one now. Yeah, like that. Now notice that this now is a little bit too big and this is where the section you're going to make it instead of medium, you're going to make it wide. Then this will look perfect. Again, this is now too big. 
So you're gonna do it wide. Okay, so that's that. Now let's have a look on mobile. You'll notice that this is now exactly how it should be. Okay, this is good, this is good. Um, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, let's have a look again. Yeah, you see this image just doesn't need to be there on the thing and this should be above here and then the image really does not need to be this big either okay let's go back to desktop okay this messed it up a bit so let's see Let's have a look how she had it. Okay, let's move this here. Let's move this right under. Now here, there's, there's a reason why this is here. There's so much space. That doesn't need to be this way. This one, way too much space. Okay, save changes. Let's have a look on mobile. Okay, that looks okay. Even though the button is above, it, that looks okay at least. And the image can be a little bit smaller as well. 150, 150. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's how it's all been fixed. Notice the sections. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's look at this one for a second. There is unnecessary spacing. I don't know why there's spacing. Um, like this enter, that's just not, should not be this way. Okay, that's fine. Cool, alrighty, that's pretty much it. Wanted to share how to do mobile editing. This is a good example of uh, something that was done okay, but had some issues. And uh, sometimes it's easier to just create a new section. So hope you got value from this. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used System or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the System page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive. And when you feel confident like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply $27 a month or you can also get $197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you want to take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on and it's a really good plan. So if you want to check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System.io, definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.